Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a fight against the number four guy in the world, or at least he was at the time that this video was recorded. This is an older video, it's about two to three weeks ago. And I'm going to be using Joanna Collarwood. But yeah, this guy is in, like I said, he's number four. Um, I do look at the leaderboards every now and then just to, you know, see who's in there, see if there's anyone I know, or see anyone that I've come across, and this guy's name just kind of stuck out to me, I'm pretty sure I pause it, coming up here, and I see the name, yeah right there, and it kind of just stuck out to me, I'm like alright, this guy's at least in the top 100, I didn't know he was number 4, Excuse me, but right away I was worried about the ground game because he has Claudia and I got Collarwood. Collarwood is good in stand up, but her ground game stats aren't aren't that good. So I was worried about that. In that first combo he threw, man, I was like, oh damn, like I'm in a fight, or you know, it's, it's gonna be a fight. So I was just trying to do my thing, you know, move around a little bit, just try to touch him. I wanted my output kind of high, so I figured, you know, if my first two punches didn't land, maybe my third or fourth would. But I remember when the fight, I was very worried about the ground game. I just... And I'm pretty sure I was, I was surprised that he hadn't gone for a takedown or a clinch yet. But he's parrying shots, which is to be expected. I'm just trying to keep my distance there. I'm just trying to make him, make him come to me, I guess, is what, is what I was trying to do. Right there, kind of threw out of range. But I kind of like doing this because it kind of shows like your mistakes that you make. Like it's kind of like um, critiquing yourself, you know. Like, I record, put a few of my uh, fights just to go back and look at it. Like, see if, see what I did wrong or see what I did good or, you know what I mean? It's just, it's something that you guys can do. If you guys got a PS4, it's so easy to record your fight. And now you can record up to, like, 60 minutes. So, I advise you guys, if you guys don't do that, you guys should if you want to get better. I know not everyone takes it as serious. I don't really take it that serious. I just like to... I don't know. I just like to see if I could evolve a little bit. You know, I don't plan on ever, like, being the best or... Whatever. I just like to... If I can give these guys a run for their money, that, that makes me happy. You know? Win or lose. Right there, he rocks me. I'm surprised that... Double head kick did not drop me. He's taunting. It's like, dude, I know you're better than me. It's, you know. It's okay. But. Like I said before, you guys, I'm not a high level player. I don't even consider myself high level at all. I wanted to touch gloves there, but he didn't. I don't know. I didn't do anything to warrant that. I. In the field. He probably thinks I'm just running, but I'm just trying to move. I was trying to interrupt his strikes, and I did it a couple times. 
and it's something really hard to explain. It's just something you kind of like feel during the fight that you can do. Like the straight punch usually can interrupt some strikes. And then you'll be able to throw more after that. Like I said, it's kind of hard to explain. But I'm kind of hesitant to, you know, exchange in a way because he's parrying. I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to get parried. That's why That's why you guys see me backing up, kind of waiting for him to throw first. But then when he doesn't, I throw. But so far in the fight, I'm, I'm really unable to land anything clean. And now starting to see things coming. He's starting to parry pretty much everything. Or it or seems like that. Also, what do you guys do when you guys, you know, come across someone that just parries every single one of your shots? Because... To me, it's hard because I lead with the jab. It's just, it's a habit of mine. I Sometimes I lead with the body kick, or sometimes I lead with the straight, too. But what do you guys like to lead with, I guess, is say say someone's pairing every, you know, first shot you're throwing. Say you, th say you like to throw the straight punch, but that's getting parried every time you throw it. Like, what do you do then, you know? Obviously switch it up, but what do you switch it to, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm getting lit up, as you guys see. But no, I'd, I'd like to know what, like, what's a good strike to lead with, like, to start your combo. So he knows he won that round, so he backs off. He caught me with that overhand. So... I'll, I remember thinking at this point, I'm like, I'm just glad that, you know, he hasn't been able to finish me yet. I'm kind of glad he, he's given me a chance, really. He didn't take it to the ground. He could have. I know he could have. And probably, probably uh, dominated me there. But at this point in the fight, I'm like, all right, I'm, I'm still in it. I still have a chance. Let me just try to, let me just try to hit him. But it just seems like he's, he's he's very good at blocking, very good at parrying. Just like I cannot, I just can't get to him. I mean, some punches are landing, but nothing substantial. And right there, I made the mistake. I threw three punches that just hit air. And right there, I kind of caught him leaning back. But man, he's just looking for parodies. I kind of hope they. I just hope they take those out next game, or they can make a counter for it. And right there, he catches me with the head kick. I recover, and somehow he got the side control. I don't. And right here, I'm. I remember I was in panic mode. I was like, I gotta get out of this. I thought I was gonna get that transition. No. Nope. Boom, I'm out. But considering I made it to the third round, you know, in a way it was kind of a moral victory to me, I guess. If you wanna call it that, even though you got some tell, I got dominated. Right there, I was like, oh, whatever. I kinda. Quickly went through the stats. It definitely outstruck me. But yeah, let's take a look at his uh, his fighter net. Yeah, he has over seven thousand fights, so 
it's expected that, you know, you should be good at the game at that point. But let's go look at the leaderboards real quick. And we'll go to overall. We won't go to the current month thing. But, yeah, I'll show you guys. And then that will be the end of the video. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment. And if you're new around here and you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. As always, I'll see you guys in the next